1942 as Cassius Clay. Here is Muhammad Ali. No denying the hands. He says he's worked pretty hard on his takedown defense coming into the UFC. Team. Well, he's going to have to. He's the greatest boxer of all time. But it won't be just boxing that will allow for him to find success inside the UFC. But if you know Cassius Clay, you know Muhammad Ali, you know he's the most fearless competitor that you can find. The tremendous boxer. Now it's time to see what he can do inside the UFC soccer. But he's got a lot of size. He's got a lot of length. People really enjoyed the visual on the scale here on Friday. Muhammad Ali taking his greatness to the Octagon here tonight. We'll see how it goes. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. Steps inside the Octagon. He is ready to fight. Introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Muhammad And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the King! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. It just feels different when Muhammad Ali hits the greatest proving ground in combat sports. Prohibitively favored here tonight. And you gotta think the opposition is gonna shoot at those legs early and often. If Muhammad Ali gets those feet moving and gets moving laterally, working off of that jab, this thing could end in short order. All eyes on Muhammad Ali yet again tonight. Lands a big right hand early. Straight right hand now, just misses. Both fighters throwing heat now. That's a big run. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Oh, that body shot hurt him. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Clean punch right there. Whiffs on the elbow. Oh, oh he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, big left hook there. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Whiffs on the right hand. with the hook there by Ali. Oh, nice. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, hands up, hands up. Looking to set up that uppercut now. Just misses with the left hook. Stay on that jab. He's able to slip the left there. Just misses with the left hook. 45 seconds to go here in round one. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Overhand is good. Second round, straight ahead. All right, take a deep breath and relax. This round, I really want you to use your striking. You're a better boxer than he is. Let's go out there and put hands on him. Set up your jam. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the run. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Just missed with the left there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. It mixes up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Missed on the right hand. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. It's okay. Muhammad Ali circling to his right. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab. Maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. One and a half minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. This is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Oh, a big left hand. All right, last one left. Good. You're doing fine. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. 30 seconds left. 30. Just a slip there. Oh, beautiful. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. 
All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready. Third round underway. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes. In he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his strike. Man, this is should have been tested early. Just misses with the straight right. He's got to start throwing down. All right, so the big storyline in this. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. And just misses with that big right hand. DC. It's one thing to land. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ali's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Ninety seconds right to go. Back. Right back. Ali gets back up. That hurt was bad. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh, nice right in. 30 seconds to go now. He's got that jab working. Nicely done. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, oh it's over. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Muhammad Ali! Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO. Who's the best MC?